This ISO area view shows the network node voltages doing normal operations. Voltages in acceptable operating bands are shown in blue and green. A malfunction can now be simulated at a network element by right-clicking and choosing Calculation at Element Malfunction. Updating the ISO area view shows that the failure of this line has caused voltages in large parts of the network to drop into a critical range, color-coded red. Conducting a thorough contingency analysis is vital to understanding network behavior. MPSS Sinkhouse Contingency Analysis module has exactly the tools to provide an in-depth analysis. Flexibility is given in the definition of which malfunction cases are to be simulated. The list of these is then generated automatically by the program and does not need to be manually compiled by the user. Consequential malfunctions can be included. Load flow calculations are then performed for each case. For large networks, a special algorithm can be applied to reduce calculation time without compromising the effectiveness of the analysis by finding and prioritizing the most critical cases. Elements can be considered individually or defined as belonging to groups that malfunction together or function together. These are network element groups of the type malfunction or function. Malfunctions are defined through network areas in the tab contingency analysis. Here, for each defined network area, malfunctions can be defined for all elements or subgroups of elements. For example, only loaded elements whose utilization exceeds the base utilization limit. If all elements are set to malfunction, this tests the n-1 criteria of the network. It is possible to specify whether connectors are considered to malfunction or not. The availability of elements as defined in the settings for reliability calculations, can also be incorporated into the contingency analysis. This availability condition provides a probabilistic approach to limiting malfunctions. A limit value can be set in unavailability to limit the number of simulations. Malfunctions can be simulated as causing other malfunctions, either in the own network area or marked areas and the elements selected and caused elements will malfunction when their utilization exceeds the caused utilization limit. If malfunctions are set to cause malfunctions, this tests the n-1-1 criteria of the network. Limits can be set on simulation results data to reduce data quantity. Perform the contingency simulations under Calculate Load Flow Contingency Analysis. If set to normal, a load flow calculation will be performed for each malfunction case. Click OK to start the simulations. Results are now shown in the PSS SYNCAL results window. In malfunction, all malfunctions are listed in the window, starting with the name of the element that has failed, followed by further results. Which data is shown can be filtered. In hierarchical view, it can be seen that the malfunction in line 28 triggers a malfunction in the line 30. Turn on evaluation mode to see a color-coded view of the status of network elements. This provides a quick visual overview of the status of the network. More detailed results of each malfunction can be seen in the results window. In this example, it can be seen that a malfunction in 2T22 causes the following elements to exceed their voltage and utilization limits. It causes the following elements to not be fed. And it is the most critical malfunction for the following. This gives the user an impression for the relative importance of an element in the network, which provides valuable information for network design. In overloaded, network elements that become overloaded are listed with the malfunction leading to the most critical overload for each element. In maximum, all network elements are listed with their respective most critical malfunction. In this example, the element L28 will reach its highest utilization 148% by the malfunction of element L30. This overview provides valuable information for the design of individual elements and how much they will be loaded in case of malfunctions. Malfunction scenarios can be constructed to reconnect elements when specific elements fail. In this example, the malfunction scenario alternative lines reconnects the line 45 and line 46 
when the line 28 fails. As we saw earlier, a malfunction in line 28 causes the line 30 to become overloaded and subsequently to also fail. In this scenario, a large part of the network will not be supplied. In the alternative line scenario, by reconnecting the two lines, shown here in green, the line 30 no longer becomes overloaded and no element in the network are without supply. Contingency scenarios can be applied for the testing and design of network remedial measures. To see all the results of a contingency simulation, right-click and choose Details. Here, all results are listed. For more detailed analysis, the load flow calculation of a particular contingency case can be performed simply by right-clicking in the results window and choosing Calculate. This load flow is then performed and results are available in the graphics editor as well as results table as usual. An interactive reporting functionality is provided in the result view. Here, malfunctions can be selected, filters can be set for results data, and a report in the form of a PDF document generated. In particular for large networks, computing all malfunction cases can be time consuming. Nevertheless, Critical failures causing the most network damage need to be precisely looked at. PSS Syncal provides an internal algorithm in the contingency analysis pre-analysis, which efficiently assesses how critical a malfunction will be for a network. The valuation of damage is done according to different criteria. Voltage change, not delivered power, not supplied elements, not supplied loads. The user can select which criteria are important to him and perform a pre-analysis. The pre-analysis ranks the network elements according to damage to network in case of malfunction. Now in a second step. In a now reduced simulation, the 20 most critical malfunction cases according to the pre-analysis weightings will be calculated thoroughly and the results can be analyzed. In so doing, total calculation time has been reduced but the most critical malfunction cases can still be analyzed in full.